Today we're gonna be testing real life experiments that you should never try at home. Oh, this is cool. So rub paper on a plastic bag with a plastic pipe, make it super staticky, and then the thing is supposed to float. Let's go try it. All right, so we got the trash bag. I don't know how like much to cut it. Like you seem to have cut it like a lot. So I don't know. I mean, I guess we sit back, relax and cut it. My scissors suck or is trash bags difficult to cut through? I just feel like we need a little baby, you know, a little tiny thing of it. Like that's good. Like that's enough to get a good sample. Okay, well that's what we have. It's it's really a lot harder to cut that up than you would think. I'm serious, this is not easy to do. Who invents this stuff? Does it matter how I rub it? Like, I just, I feel very unconfident in this one working right now. There's, I'm gonna crumble it into a ball because it seems like a good idea. You know what, there's another step we missed, guys. So we've, we've rubbed this fairly enough. Now we gotta rub the old plastic tube here and give this one a nice rub. Don't watch me do this, this is weird. Blur it out, Lucas, blur it out. This is uncomfortable to me. Gotta build the static up, guys, all right? Use that TP. Apparently toilet paper is a static builder. Okay, that's probably good, this is probably good. Here we go, guys, this is the ultimate moment. Three, two, one. We're making homemade lava lamp. I could get behind this. Homemade lava lamp seems pretty all sweet. What do you need to do is take the packaging off a bottle. Fill the bottle up halfway with vegetable oil. And then you put two fingers worth of water. And then you add in white vinegar. And now we're going to add some blue Drops. of food Yo, coloring. Yo, this is a lot of steps. Oh, my favorite. Make it pretty with some glitter. Oh my God, that looks so cool. Pour it all in. And then add some baking powder. This is literally like some kind of poisonous concoction we're supposed to be making right here. Whoa. Whoa. It does look cool though, not gonna lie. Like it, it actually looks sweet. So let's see if it works and try not to destroy my living room. Here we go. Now I got all the ingredients here. The thing is, I don't know how they like, how they get rid of that sticky stuff. All right, step one, fill this thing halfway with vegetable oil, which I bought just for this video. This will be exciting because I'm, okay, that's gonna squirt everywhere. All right, so I got, I brought a funnel because I'm kind of prepared for this. So here we go. <gasps> oh, I spilled it on my floor. Not a great start. This is why you don't do this stuff at home, folks. Honestly, it's crazy how sticky this thing is, but it looks kind of cool so far. Like, if you look at that, it's got a vibe. This one's calling my name, like a little neon blue. So heated vinegar. So we're going to take this bad boy right here. Give that a sniff. <laughs> okay, I'm not a big vinegar smeller guy. I don't know how much. You didn't really tell us. So I'm just going to kind of, just going to kind of wing it in here real quick, see what we can do. So call me Bill Nye the science guy, folks. I don't know. Is this going to explode? Now the blue dye. Again, really no instructions on the number to do. I feel like I'm going to go like a lot, but let's just start slowly. Here we go. Ooh. You know what? I feel like my method works better. Maybe not. He, oh no. He mixed the dye and the vinegar. So maybe I screwed this up. So far, incredibly underwhelming. We've got a vinegar layer with dye and then this. Am I missing a step? Maybe I'm missing a step. Oh wait, there's baking powder. I am missing a step. So baking powder is the missing stuff. That's what we that's what we should have done the whole time. So let's get a little baking powder in here. Again, they just don't say the number. Like, I'm just gonna wing it. Like, I don't know. Let's just get this thing in here. Please don't explode though. Get, oh, <laughs> I think maybe a little bit much there. And, uh, I guess let's give it a little shake, shake. You can see the color turning right now. Feeling very exciting about this. Um, You know, potentially did we do too much blue dye in here? Did we just create a... Uh, I think maybe maybe it's possible that we let it settle and come back at the end of this video and see what it looks like. Because right now, I'll, I'll know about this. It seems like I just put a lot of ingredients into a bottle and now it just doesn't look like anything. How many people haven't seen or tried this really simple and interesting physics demonstration? Wow, guys, nothing more exciting than physics, huh? Well, let's see. Here's what you're gonna need. It looks just so a nice. A cup of water like this. Oh. A piece of cardboard that you put right over the center of that. A cardboard tube that you okay, put what? over the center of that and then an uncooked egg, which goes horizontally this seems risky. on top of that. Now, because the egg and the cup of water are heavier, they have yeah. more mass, they want to stay where they are. Well, okay. these two objects, they want to move if I hit them. Okay. So, so what you do is you're just going to whack the side of this, and that's going to bump these out of the way. And if all goes well, oh. the egg should fall in the cup. Really? Well, hopefully, like this. Three, two, one. Dude, I gotta really do this? Okay, this seems like a great way to crack an egg on everything. Let's try it. This seems kind of cool. All right, so we got uh, we got two general concerns here. Uh, concern number A is uh, this is not a perfect circle. Now, it doesn't say it has to be a perfect circle, but I feel like with physics, it does. Concern number two, if I hit this and it, and it moves the glass, glass is gonna shatter because I'm like five feet up on a uh, platform here. So anyway, this seems like it's a... <laughs> How do I center this? Like. I don't even know if that's over the glass. It's so hard to tell. 
Okay, I mean, he, he, he whacks it. He whacks it pretty hard, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I really, I'm a little bit worried. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a little bit worried the egg is going to launch out. But if it does, it doesn't mean physics is broken. It just means I don't have a circle piece of cardboard. Here we go. Just time to send it. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was actually so sick. I can't believe that just happened. Dude, physics is sweet. So I guess if you take a balloon, rub a comb on it, the comb then becomes powerful enough to bend water. Does this not seem like the fakest thing you've ever seen in your life? Let's go test it out. I thought, you know, maybe I'll need a lot of balloons for this because I don't I don't know these before I do them, all right? So take the balloon, take the comb. Like my balloon ain't got that squish to it, but we'll just give it a nice old rub here. It's like playing a, it's like playing an instrument. Okay, I don't know if it can get <laughs> fart noises. I don't know if it can get more staticky than what we just did. So we gotta move quick and see if this thing can maneuver around the kitchen sink with the water. So here's our sink. Here we go. I see no movement. Hello? Please? Wait. Is it? <laughs> it's not doing anything. Today I'm gonna show you how to make your milk come alive. We'll use this plate and add a little bit of milk. Now we add some food coloring. More food oh, coloring. Ta da! Okay. Damn, I was aiming for the middle. Now I'm gonna use some dish soap. Just one drop. Yo, I've actually seen these before and oh. I've never tried this, so this will actually be sweet to see if it works. Cause like I see them, but is it real? Let's find out. Guys, like, I have some bad news here today, folks. Not gonna lie to you. Um, you're probably thinking, Zach, what's the bad news? Bad news number one, folks, would be that, uh, well, I don't have a white plate. I don't know why, but I got black plates and I got black silverware because I thought it'd be cooler. Number two, I only got chocolate milk, not vanilla. I don't know if that matters. You don't realize how much milk a plate can hold until you pour. Guys, what are you doing using cups, folks? We've been missing out. Plates are the move. Okay, so here's our thing. We're gonna do a couple colors of food coloring. <laughs> Pink, green, and brown. It's like colorful poop. Here we go. Shockingly stands out really well. I'm gonna do like a little bit in the corners too. Don't know why. A little bit right in the center. Okay, well that's invisible. Okay, so we've got uh, pink and green, kind of a Christmas vibe, a little bit. And now we're gonna take our soap here and give it a squirt right in the middle. Here we go. Ooh, it's just disgusting. Look how dark, look, look at that color. I mean, that is not a pleasant color to look at. Doesn't that look like literally like an artery just got like cut? Like. Is that not like probably the most disgusting thing you've ever seen in your entire life? It literally looks like something was killed and started dissolving and that is like the remains of its body after a long time. I mean, if that ain't the most disgusting thing ever, I don't know what is. How to make a cloud dough. Start with two parts corn. Yo, cloud dough? Does that sound like the most fun thing ever? I'm excited. I think this one's gonna work. Corn starch or two parts flour, either will work. Add them to a mixing bowl. Next, add one part conditioner. Any oh. kind of conditioner will do. What does one part These mean? These are technically the only like two the ingredients same you need, but I'm gonna also add some blue food coloring. This will give my cloud dough a nice blue fluffy cloud look. Whoa! After you knead it together, if it's too sticky, you can add some more. Continue to knead it together until it's no longer sticky That's and you cool. have a beautiful fluffy dough. And there you have it. That is how to make cloud dough. So, okay, so basically like two half cups cornstarch, one half cup of conditioner. I think I have conditioner, but I might just have two in one men's body wash. Hopefully that works the same. We're gonna find out. This one should be sick. So as you can see, my kitchen cabinets are extremely high and I'm extremely not tall. So there's our cornstarch we've got to use for this. So this is the strap right here, all right? <sighs> How you do it, guys? See, that's where I put all my snacks because if I'm hungry enough for a snack, I got to earn it. All right, so I actually bought the same cornstarch to make sure we have every chance in the world to get this to work. Frankly, don't even know what cornstarch is. Oh. So I'm just going to do uh, whatever this is, a third cup. Seems like a good amount. What am I gonna do with all this cornstarch? Why did I buy this much? Like, honestly, that's a that's a lot. All right, you know what else is crazy? This is like kind of expensive shampoo or conditioner, I think. I don't use it a lot, but like, I have to use half the bottle on this. So, hey, for science though, you know, right? 20 bucks down the drain right there. Yeah, I, I didn't buy the cheap conditioner. I said, hey, let's make the best cloud ball on earth. All right, that's probably about as good as you're gonna do with it. It's half a bottle gone. That was literally $10. I'm gonna add purple to it. Not too much, because I would like a light, fluffy purple cloud. Three, four, five, seven, 14 drops. Doesn't really matter. All right, let's get in there and give a little mixy mix. Here's how it looks so far. Why do I feel like there's not enough uh, conditioner in here? Thing is, like I put my hand in there to stir. 
Okay, so guys, this one actually seems like it might work. It feels, it feels really good. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really good. Problem is that purple is not doing anything. I don't know how she made her spread. But yeah, honestly, look at that. Like that's actually kind of fire, all right? So it doesn't have a lot of purple yet, but I think if I mix it enough, it should get that color. But it, it just feels like, I don't know. It just feels good. It's soft, it's comforting. It's got like the feel of like soft chalk. Weird description. This honestly is pretty sweet though. I like this a lot. Like, would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend smelling it if that's a lot of conditioner in there. Honestly, it's pretty sweet. I would recommend trying this one out. It's pretty good, 10 out of 10. These TikTok hacks kind of suck today. So guys, tag me on ones you want to see us text next time because this stuff was all cap. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Become one of the Zacklings today and uh, that's it. See you guys soon. Peace. <laughs>